Hello everybody. We as a Garbagudi team happy to announce uh, the third year of our uh, Paripurna offer where couples who are unaffordable who require IVF treatment but have been pushing it for years together because of financial issues this is a boon for them today they can come and visit garbagudi and get this offer where the infertility especially the IVF treatment is being provided at a very much subsidized rates without a uh, without compromising the success without compromising the quality but yes at an affordable prices it will be provided and uh, for this they'll have to register in the month of december only and uh, they need to visit the garbagodi website or the gg care team where they'll be provided a code and then the application form will be filled and following that the internal committee at garbagodi will process the application and then decide on the a uh, uh, discount or the offer that needs to be provided for any couple so anybody who visits in the month of december can avail this offer it is a boon for those who come from rural areas or who are a low socio economic or low income status they can avail this offer thank you so many a times it goes unnoticed that we don't pay much attention that how much hours we have spent sitting in front of a computer sitting and doing a job full day and how unknowingly this can impact our fertility to a significant effect so this is what i'm going to tell you in today's episode today i'm going to talk about the effect of prolonged working hours on infertility Hi I'm Dr Chinmay consultant gynecologist and infertility specialist at Garbagudi IVF center south end circle there are various studies which have shown across the globe made india made uh, korea japan everywhere they have seen what are the minimum working hours which are shown to affect or the maximum working hours which have shown to affect uh, fertility if we see on an average of 50 or more than 50 hours per week have shown to reduce the pregnancy chances both in case of males and females due to various reasons their work pattern the amount of stress they are exposed to how it impacts all those things and it has also shown women who work more than 50 52 hours per week have 20% reduced chance of conception during their reproductive age compared to the other counterpart who were work less than 40 hours a week so this is because in women the entire menstrual cycle is maintained by a rhythm of hormone hormones uh, that is released in the body the certain hormones which is released from the brain that hormone go and act on the ovary make the egg production and the egg itself releases certain hormones which again go back act on the brain so it is an entire a uh, uh, axis that is maintained which is called an hpa axis or an hpo axis so what happens when there is too much prolonged working hours or you're sitting at one place and working for a long duration the in amount of stress in the body increases and this causes there is certain stress related hormones which releases in the body and this will alter the entire cycle of the reproductive system because of which she might notice there is disturbances in her egg production menstrual irregularities infertility and also when a woman is stressed too much the certain chemicals and endorphins which are released from the brain that prevents the embryos from attaching to her uterus so because of these reasons she might face infertility whereas in case of males whenever they sit in one place and work for a long duration what happens is something called as genital heat stress which produces so you sit in one place for many hours so four hours five hours the so the heat around the genitals is increased the temperature around is increased why it affects the sperm quality is that the scrotum the normal temperature of the scrotum is about 0.5 degrees lesser than that of the normal body temperature it is at that temperature where the testicles can produce normal sperm production can take place but what happens when you sit for a long time because of this heat stress there is a change in the temperature around the testicles because of which it affects the sperm production the motility of the sperm gets affected the quality of the sperm comes down there is more of damage within the sperm which is called as dna fragmentation so all these increases and they usually don't present with uh, some symptoms unless other than infertility so this is something which goes most of the time unnoticed it is mainly seen in certain uh, professionals especially it professionals when they were they sit for long hours 
in case of drivers will be the auto drivers bus drivers or even in those who work in case of heat environment like those who work like contractors or uh, working in a uh, lot of uh, dusty environment standing in the sun for a long time all these can trigger this uh, heat stress so therefore uh, how do we overcome this is we need to be careful take breaks every 2 hours go for a walk consume good nutritious healthy diet especially vitamin c rich diet that produces and gives antioxidants which reduces the oxidative stress to the genital organs and thus increases the quality of the sperm or the egg so these vitamin c rich fruits like uh, orange uh, berries like strawberries blueberries so all these things will reduce the oxidative stress consuming more of uh, green leafy vegetables fresh vegetables uh not using uh, artificial flavors or going for canned food so going for a more nutritious a healthy organic diet will definitely help them then de-stressing themselves for working for prolonged hours the second most common factor how it affects is through stress so whenever uh, you're too much stressed you need to de-stress either going into sports trying meditation yoga all these things will help in de-stressing and also uh exposure to too much exposure to electromagnetic waves around us through mobile phones wifi laptops microwaves so all these are something which you cannot see but they are indirectly affecting on uh, the quality of uh, the eggs and the sperms so uh, reducing exposure to these electromagnetic waves avoid using mobile phones in the pant pockets so all these things will help in reducing the effect that is caused due to these electromagnetic waves and also working in different hours like uh, doing more of night shifts uh, less of uh, like sleeping in the day so body is uh, the, there, there is a rhythm in our body that is called circadian rhythm where uh, it is been destined that we have to get up at this time you have to be awake at these hours you have to sleep at these hours when you do the reverse the hormones which are supposed to be produced in the night gets altered so because of that your sleep gets disturbed because that in turn will affect the hormonal changes that in turn will cause uh, the uh, irregularities in the periods can affect sperm production reduce the sperm count therefore if you plan if, if you try avoiding uh, uh, like night shifts or uh, uh, too much of uh, stress during your work hours so this will reduce its impact on the uh, infertility so by doing a healthy lifestyle reducing stress not sitting for long hours and reducing the number of work hours per week all these things and de-stressing ourselves regularly will reduce the effect of our work on the fertility so if you have uh, liked and uh, if you have got a lot of information from today's episode kindly like this page share it with your friends and families and do subscribe to our channel to get more information on infertility and its related problems thank you